Today is going to be a very interesting day. Machine Freaks, welcome to today's vlog. I'm extremely excited for today, and so is somebody else, but I'll, I'll get to him in a second. You guys know I just revealed the Gator. Now I have another surprise for you. This is going to be a big build. Like, this is gonna be something big, and it's for a good cause. So it's gonna be a perfect scenario, really. Without further hesitation, here's Danny's new surprise. Danny, reveal it. Here's Danny's new rig. So this is Danny's new 1988 Ram Charger. Danny, you're excited for this? Oh yeah. Yeah, is that very excited? Come on, let's do it again. Oh yeah! Wait a second. Wait a second. All right, so you guys know Danny. Danny helped me find the Grizzly, the four-wheeler. You also find the, found the Kodiak, right? Yep. I did work on his Timberwolf. He's Ian's cousin. And Jake's. And Jake, you're related to Jake too? Yep. I feel sorry for you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, Danny got a new vehicle. I'm trying to help him out. He's He's got this thing. And how many miles are on this sucker? 186,936 miles. So it actually rolled around once? Yep. They start fresh at zero, zero once they hit 100,000, which is pretty cool. But at the same time, it's like, did the guy go 186 or 286 or you just don't know. Well, this is my second Ram Charger. When we first seen the Ram Charger, I didn't even know what the hell the kind of vehicle that was. Ever since then, I just love the Ram Charger. This is honestly like the perfect off-road vehicle because it's nice and short. It's got a short wheelbase. It's high up and uh, I mean, it's four wheel drive, right? Yep. You got the old school, of course, the old school. No, no push button here. And it has a bed head, head gasket. Oh, yeah, so it's got a dent. It's got some rust issue. It's got a bad head gasket. Yep, that's no good. Bad window. That piece of trim is missing. Danny, if you plan on mud bogging this, buddy, you better get some new tires. I had this exact truck, you guys. Is it two wheel drive or four wheel drive? Oh, yeah, this is four wheel drive. I had a two wheel drive, rust free. This one's in really good shape, too. That's Danny's grandfather's. I guess you're Dodge fans, huh? This thing's got a 318 V8. And if you look in here, the oil. That's way over. The good thing is it's not super creamy. When you have a bad head gasket, what happens is the coolant goes into your engine oil and it mixes and water doesn't really, isn't a very good lubricant. So what happens is you strip your bearings and, it, and it's no good at all. So instead of replacing the head gasket, and then he said it was like 800 to to $1,000 to replace it, he's actually just got a whole new engine. From the other Ram Charger. So this is Danny's other Ram Charger, this is a 1991. And this one actually rolls over to 100,000. Yeah, so it's got one more spot for a digit. So this, you can make sure that you got the right miles. We looked it up and when they came out of the factory, they both had the 318s and they both have the same transmission, three speed automatic. A three speed automatic. And it looks like we have the green flag. For what? I'll tell you in a second. Oh. Wow, it even runs. Don't run me over. You're probably guessing it. We got the same truck, we got the same engine, we got the same transmission. This one's got fewer miles. We're doing an engine swap. Right, Danny? Of course, buddy. <laughs> so we're gonna take this engine that has a good head gasket, throw it on the other one, and uh, guess who's gonna do it? Yours truly. And I'll help a little bit. Try to help as much as I can. You got, do, you, it do it for Dan. Do it Do it for Dan. Do it for Dan. This this is the engine we're going to be using. 70,000 fewer miles. Good head gasket. Just old school horsepower. Right, Danny? There's no school like the old school. Yeah, this one's in... Seems like it's in better shape. Like, yeah. like overall, the whole engine compartment's in better shape. Yeah. But uh, Danny has been uh, doing naughty things with it. He's been going mud bogging. Holy smokes, dude. Look at this thing. You got a tree hanging out of here. Hang that one on the wall. So he's yeah. definitely got some pressure washing to do. What, ha what happened here, Danny? And I'll show you what I hit it with. So what, you're playing Demo Derby? Bang, right into the freaking <laughs> dozer blade. Real, really, really real. This is just kind of something I came up with two nights ago, so it's kind of happening fast.
looking evil. I think that gives us enough room to kind of play with it right there. Is that a good spot, you think? Danny, don't take this the wrong way, but I think I'm crazy. Why is that? I got a Rams charger in my driveway. No you, good. You, 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 owned it. you owned a Dodge before and you said you loved it. Yeah, it was fun. Let the mayhem begin. Max stopped by to see the Gator, didn't you, Max? Yep. You excited to see it? Yes. What do you think? Awesome. Did you ever ride in your six-wheeler when you guys had it? Yeah. In yesterday's video, when we took out the Gator, I asked you guys what you think the next decal should be. And you guys answered. I had a poll like right here, right here, wherever it was. It was actually kind of cool to see your guys' opinions in the poll tab. I, I've never used it before. I'm going to have to use that more often. What do, you, what do you think? Do you guys agree? Do you want me to run a poll every once in a while? I think it's on this side. Correct me if I'm wrong. This Ram Charger is definitely going to be one of the biggest things I've really ever worked on. But before I get into talking more about the Charger and what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it, let's check out the new decals. Let me know in the comment section below if you picked the decal. The font and the size. Not the color, but the font and the size. Are you ready? The new decal is... That's right, font two, and that's two by seven inches wide. So what we'll do is we'll do the exact same thing we did with the last decals. These will be five bucks a piece. You can buy as many as you want. My PO box is in the description. Just to make this clear, I will show the decals once they come in. They will be this exact thing. They'll be braptastic. Two inches tall by seven inches wide. They'll be black, not white. Now let me try to explain this as well as I can. You'll send me something like this. It'll have my PO box your return address, and a stamp. For every decal you purchase, you earn yourself an entry to the raffle for the stand. If you want to earn a free entry, all you have to do is put a return envelope inside your original envelope, looking something like this, with your address here, my address here, and a stamp right here. But keep in mind, this is seven and a half inches, so your return envelope has to be wider than that. Or I can provide you an envelope, but you're not gonna get that free entry. You can send a money order, a check, or cash. Let me give you an example. Say you put $10 in here, you'd get two decals. If you put the return envelope in here, you get a free entry. If you do not, you only get two entries. I'm going to give away two of these stands, but instead of my name, 3D Machines on here, I'll put your name on here. You can put your YouTube, your Instagram, your Facebook name, your regular name, whatever you want. Just keep in mind, if you have more than 10 characters in your name, it'll go out to the sides, and then if we run out of room there, we're gonna have to shrink down the actual character size. So keep that in mind when you win. And since the decals are black, the stand will be black. You can choose from flat black, gloss black, or satin black when you do win. In order to find out the two people that win the stands, I have to keep everybody's sticker order. I will end this in three weeks. Three weeks from today. On May 8th, I'm going to choose both winners for the stand. I'll get whatever you want to put on the stand, and then I'll send everybody's orders out. I just want to make everything clear right now so people aren't like, Oh, where's my order? You're going to have to wait till May 8th to get the horsepower. Sorry. You could be anywhere in the world to get the decals and to win the stands. FYI. I will obviously show the decals once I get them. Now that you guys can see the new decals, I'm going to start penetrating, well I guess start lubricating this thing. This whole engine's coming out, that's nuts. There is a lot that's needed to get that done. And this thing's old, 1988. I'm gonna let my penetrating oil work for a day. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. We'll get to it tomorrow, I promise. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out. <laughs>